If you think cornflakes are only for breakfast, wait until you try this recipe. So come on in. Welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red, and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. I just love chicken dippers. Matter of fact, I just love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I like chicken that you can dip in all kinds of yummy sauces. Yes. And so today we have a really simple recipe. Anybody can make this honey butter cornflake crusted chicken. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a mouthful. You, that's why you're saying it. I, I know. <laughs> But it's really oh. simple to make. You can do it in the oven and you can make it in an air fryer. In fact, you could fry it up on the stove if you want to, but it's very simple to make. So I if, like cornflakes anyway. I do too. The, the taste of cornflakes is delicious. And so we've got our corn flour here and we've got regular flour. So we mixed it to give it more of a corn flavor because we like that corn flavor. And Definitely. so we mixed it 50% flour, 50% corn flour. We've got our eggs. eggs whisked up and we've got our corn flakes now. We just put them in a Ziploc bag and Sheila took her aggressions out, <laughs> rolled those out with a rolling pin and yeah. you could just smash those out a little bit and crumble them. You can leave them kind of, some of them a little bit larger, but you want to get most of them crushed down. And we already got some ready to go, so. Get it. <laughs> so we can use these if we run out of some. Yeah. And then we've got, of course, our chicken strips already here. Boneless, skinless chicken strips. Here, Mom. Check. <laughs> In case we Check need them. Or, or tossing them off thing. This is how we do it around. We just throw food around the kitchen. Yeah, Donna's over there all the time. Like this she's, right like, here. she's like over the catcher's <laughs> mitt. <laughs> Everybody's Some missing baseball. <laughs> and sometimes she's got it up like this. I know. She got, got it. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, so we've got our boneless, skinless chicken breast strips right here. And so we're going to put our little gloves on. I'm going to move this box out of the way. Here, Mom, here yeah. you go. <laughs> She's like... Yeah, put these gloves on. Did you only give me one glove? No, you dropped one. Did I drop one? Oh, I dropped one. <laughs> you know what you said on the floor. Here, let me get another one. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That works. <laughs> <sighs> yes, we're having fun here oh, today yeah. in the kitchen. Okay, so we got some salt and pepper. We're going to season up the chicken real quick, both sides. Okay. There you go. That's good, right there. Let me flip the side over. Flipping those strips over. There you go. Look, at she's got them all laid out here for us, too. My mom's like... She, she organizes us and gets us all, everything laid out so for us. Just a little bit on that side. Good. I'm going to start sneezing if you keep flaking that pepper out there. Okay. <laughs> we also put a little seasoning in the flour. So we're going to dredge both sides of the chicken in the flour. And then shake it off. We're going to dip it in our egg. Look at, she waits for me to do the egg. Yeah. See how she is? So you can go that way. That's right. And then we're going to roll it in. Whoops. I'm flinging cornflakes, <laughs> Sheila. Well, I'm not going to eat those right now. Uh, I don't eat I those right now. I got gloves on. And you want to pat those down so that that, that, that cornflake sticks to it really good. And we're just going to lay that off to the side. Isn't that cute? And same thing with this one. That's cute. I'm making a mess, Mom. Look at me. I got, now I got egg all over it. <laughs> You would think two little kids are in here in this kitchen right now doing this chicken. Oh, I love that. I think we like that. But you just pat that down. And this will add so much flavor to that chicken. You'll be surprised. So if your kids wake up in the morning and want cornflakes, say, no, 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 no. We're going to have it for dinner. We're having that for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no cornflakes for breakfast, only dinner. <laughs> it's a new thing. There you go. So what you're going to want to do is get yourself a baking dish or a baking pan. Or a bigger bowl. A, a, a bigger bowl for me because I can't control the, the flakes from flaking all over the place and all over the table. I'm making a mess. <laughs> I tell you what. Cute, though. Oh, well. 
Look that's, at that. That's really good. Mmm. Okay. Now. We're, what we're gonna do is take this, move this aside, and we'll move these messy bowls here. Okay, guys, we had to we had to turn the camera off and clean that mess up. <laughs> Anybody can make a mess today. It's Jennifer. It's me. <laughs> Now watch me just go nuts with this stuff. <laughs> so we preheated the oven to 375 degrees and we're gonna place our yes. chicken on our baking sheet. <laughs> Which one are you gonna get? <laughs> I don't know. Make sure you line them all out evenly. They all look good. <laughs> they all look good. How does that look? That looks good. Just kind of space them out. That okay. looks delicious. Let's see which one I want now. I'll take this one. And we're gonna bake these for about, here, I'll turn it that way for you, for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna flip them over and get the other side. We've got it on our parchment paper. And we are gonna put this in the oven. These have been in here for about 15 minutes now on 375 degrees. We're just gonna lightly flip that over and get the other side here browned up and then right at the end we're going to take our special honey sauce and drizzle it over the top of this just be careful when you're flipping them not to, to bounce off your little crispies and we're going to let that cook for another 10 minutes or so on this side and then we'll put our honey sauce on top So you're going to want to take two to three tablespoons of melted butter and two to three tablespoons of honey and mix it together. That butter is going to warm up that honey automatically because honey kind of gets funny when you stick it in the microwave. So, Honey gets funny? Yeah. Okay, so we just flip those back over again and we're stirring up our little honey butter sauce. We're going to just drizzle that all over our chicken. That's going to give it a nice sweet flavor. You only need about two or three tablespoons for this amount of chicken, so. And then we're doing eight strips here, so it's actually the perfect amount. And we're gonna just cook that for just another couple minutes. And then we're gonna pull them out of the oven and let them cool off and we're gonna eat. We're back, we got them out of the oven. And it smells delicious. They were only in there for a couple more minutes with the honey butter on there. We pulled them out, let them cool a little bit. And yeah. then we got out our homemade, this is Steve's homemade yes. ranch dressing. And you've got to try this if you haven't. We've got the link right down below. We've also got it popping up here on the screen. And you'll want to try his delicious ranch dressing. And that's what we're going to be yes. dipping these in today. So are you ready? Look at that. Yes. Oh, and I can, you can just smell the honey. smell a vision smell a vision uh, Chicken, chicken tenders, tenders up. up. All right. We're going to dippy. Mm-hmm. Do the They're still hot. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mmm. We'll be back with all of you in a little while. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna keep eating. This is really good. Yeah, good. I like crunchy. If you like sweet and salty, you're gonna love this. This is like this would cure all that. You'd be like, you'd be, your cravings would be cured with the sweet and salty flavor of this. This is so good. Yes, my kid's gonna be glad that he waited till nighttime to get his cornflakes. That's right. <laughs> Heck with breakfast. You can have this at dinner or lunch or whatever. Yeah. This is delicious. You are gonna love this. And of course, oh. Steve's ranch dressing is outstanding. So this is good. See? Mm hmm. It's good. It's good. Go ahead. Take One another more. bite. Another yeah. bite. Another bite. Yeah. We just got our own, so. Uh -huh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the crunch. Mm-hmm. Wow. You can have it with fries or potato fries or... Whatever you want to serve it with. Mm. You could have this on a salad. You could have it all different kinds of mm -hmm. ways. Yummy. It's really be good on a salad. Great summer dish. This is good. Mm. Now, if you're going to do this in your air fryer, you could cook them for about 15 minutes. Flip them over another five minutes on 350 degrees. 
and then just one more time you can just maybe for another minute or so put that honey butter on just like we did in the oven in the oven we did exactly 15 minutes on one side we flipped them over for another 10 minutes and it was on four, it was on 375 degrees and then the last two minutes we put that honey butter on we don't want to leave that on too much because it's going to burn and turn uh, too dark so we just just a couple minutes in the oven and take it right out and let it cool so mm -hmm. Yummy. Whatever she said. Whatever I said. She's still eating. <laughs> she didn't care. She's like, this is so good. <laughs> this is the end of our week of filming, and so we're a little mm. slap happy, as mm. you can tell today. We're 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 like, all right, it's a party. We're just gonna eat now because we got all this good food. So, as Steve would say, is this the best honey butter crusted cornflake chicken tenders? If, if it, it ain't, ain't it, it ought to be. be. Thanks again for watching and liking and sharing. And subscribing. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Instagram. And visit ShotgunRed.com where you can pick up Shotgun Red dolls. And mm -hmm. we have our new t-shirt store. You'll see the t-shirts down yeah, below. There's one right here. That's right. Sheila's got one on today. And we have coffee mm -hmm. mugs. And you can get all that at ShotgunRed.com. Thanks again for those of you who have subscribed to our free membership because we keep sending new things out and you're going to be the first to know about all the upcoming stuff like our cookbook coming out. Right. And you get exclusive discounts by joining our free membership and the link is right below. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. I'm going back. I'm going back in. For another mm -hmm. one. Uh-huh. Ready? Mmm. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.